What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Malik's Water Garden. I'm actually in the middle of water changes and I decided to do a quick walkthrough of the fish room. So you're gonna see some tanks like this ones here that are in the middle of water changes. These guys did get a water change already but the video was filmed right before that. So you will see some tanks that are halfway drained, some tanks that need to be filled and stuff. Bear with me, a full fish room tour is coming up after this video like a few days after so I will have a four part full fish room tour of all the tanks in detail so subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification icon so you get updated when that video as well as many other videos like this get uploaded now in today's video we're gonna go through all the tanks and just look at every tank and look at all the fish so you'll see some tanks like these ones here that are, are in the middle of water changes I just take a, took a moment to make a video for you guys really quickly because uh, everybody keeps asking about a walkthrough in the fish room. So this is basically a walkthrough of all the tanks. So stay tuned and watch till the end. And uh, if you haven't, subscribe. It really helps me out. As always, thank you so much. Let's get into this video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Malik's Water Garden. I just actually replaced the sponge or the filter for my central air pump. So if you're noticing it to be really quiet, it's because the central air pump is turned off and it's not the air pump that makes the noise. It's the bubbles that come out in each tank that makes the noise. So I just took this sponge out, which is the replacement foam or the actual foam that was in there and I put it put the replacement foam in now. So if any of you guys are, are, are experienced with a Gemco air pump, uh, a linear piston air pump, Please let me know if this can be washed and reused because I feel like it can be. It just doesn't look like it's bad or in bad shape. So I'm going to wash it and try to reuse it because uh, I don't know if I should be buying a new one or if I wash it and reuse it. It needs to be replaced every six months. Just cleaned and washed, I think, and, and replaced. So I, I just want to know. So if you guys are familiar with this product, uh, which is a Gemco air pump, please comment below and let me know. And uh, I would really like to know that. So we're just going to do a really mini tour of the fish room uh, because it's so quiet. I just wanted to get this on film. Um, so from now on, if I'm making videos and uh, if you want the level of uh, audio to be like now, comment below and let me know because I can turn off the air pump for the moments that I'm making the videos. It's just a hassle because I don't like turning off my central air pump because I don't want to remember uh, forget turning it back on. Although I don't see it being an issue in my fish room, I just don't want to take the chance because some of these fish are quite expensive and I've had them for quite a long time and, and I'm quite attached to them. So uh, you can see some of the, the tanks are not all in perfect shape. These are in the middle of water changes. There's a really nice Caradina shrimp in there. I did have a planaria outbreak. I'm still struggling with it. I did manage to get it down on these tanks, but then in this tank I had all my black uh, Caradina shrimp like uh, King Kongs and all that and they all seem to be have vanished now I can't seem to find any so I'm kind of devastated about that and uh, so we're gonna figure out what's going on in here and uh, I did lose some uh, corridors that I put in here so I did a water change kind of concerned about that tank I'm gonna reset it it should be like this full of shrimp but for some reason it's not doing its thing but the other tanks are producing so I'm, I'm assuming that something is eating the shrimp in here uh, it could be the fish that I have in there, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. So that's something that's going on over there. Also needs water changes. This tank is going to get re reset and moved into a new spot. And something else is going over there. I think this tank here. There's nothing else in here right now. This guy's in the middle of a water change. Uh, these did get a water change yesterday. They are looking really nice right now. The lights are not on because these are on a separate light cycle. Uh, this tank is getting redone, so you'll see a video about that. There's a video coming out about this tank here, how to set up a under gravel filter properly. So uh, subscribe if you haven't, so you get updated when that video gets uploaded. Uh, there are my CPD fry in here. Uh, these tanks here are getting reset as well. So they're in the middle of water changes. And uh, I mean, when I say my middle of water changes, I have really reduced the water a few days ago and haven't filled it back up. Uh, but these guys are doing great, so that's amazing. Um, everything is doing well. I just have to get on top of these tanks that are that carry my shrimp, and uh, and uh, also the tanks that don't have any fish in them, like this one here. 
I need to reset that so I can put new uh, angelfish fry, which I have in these containers and these tanks. Like there's a lot of these guys here um, that I want to move into tanks. I did move these guys into tanks, but I want to split this group up. There's at least a several hundred in there. I had a huge batch in this container. Something happened a few days ago and I lost about 40 or 50 of them. And uh, so I moved the remaining ones into this tank, hoping to save its lives. And uh, they, they managed to live. So there's a bunch in here in the bottom uh, with the CPDs. So I'm feeding them heavily and uh, hoping that they will grow out. And then these guys are down here and the parents are back here and they are getting ready to spawn again. They did lose a clutch of eggs. I don't know why, but they laid a clutch of eggs and uh, a couple of days later, the eggs were gone. So that's something to also pay attention to. It's not like every single time the fish are going to reproduce on the clock and they're not going to always have... Uh, it's, there, there's always going to be issues here and there. So you got to be aware of that. Like these guys just produce a set of fry. And uh, so you can see those down here. Um, there they are. It's not a huge spawn. It's a very small spawn, but nonetheless, it's a nice spawn. And uh, I really like him. So I want to pass his genes on. Look at how red he is. He's bright red, right? It's gorgeous. He was kind of being a bully to his girl. So she's hiding in the back in the bushes. And uh, so I need to move them into a bigger tank. So I'm in the middle of water changes in there. These guys have not started spawning for some reason. Um, they were fighting for the longest time and now they're kind of getting along. So we will hopefully get some spawns out of them. Uh, these are the new Corridoras and the L471s that I just picked up. So they're doing really well. I'm trying to set them up in their own tanks really soon. But the, the Corridoras are not anywhere near ready to spawn yet. They still have to fatten up for another month or two. So I'm going to leave the 471s in there to quarantine with them for now. Uh, these guys also had a, egg, a, a batch of eggs, which they ended up losing. The eggs didn't stick to the slate that time. I don't know how. They're a very prolific pair. And uh, sometimes just stuff like that just happens, you know. And uh, so there's nothing I can say about that. And uh, so the fish that was in this tank got moved and spread into all the tanks in the bottom that you're seeing them in. And uh, I do have a quite a bit of shrimp in here that I moved here, but I have planaria in these tanks. So I've been losing shrimp to planaria. I've been losing some expensive shrimp to planaria, which is an issue that I have to deal with and manage like ASAP. So I had to get on top of that. So uh, I'm gonna make a video about war on planaria. So that's gonna be a new video coming up as well as uh, I have a duckweed. Obviously you don't see them in any of my tanks because I'm, I'm managing that, but there's definitely duckweed. There's an infestation like in here. You can see how much duckweed I have in this tank. So I need to war on duckweed. That's like essentially the new thing. So stay tuned for that. There's a, let me show you how much duckweed is in here. It's not, it's not picking up. There it is. How much duckweed is there? See, mats of duckweed, disgusting. I hate duckweed. So you see? duckweed everywhere i gotta get rid of like i've been managing it see like you can't see it in some tanks but the, the trick is to get rid of it from the fish room i am gonna get rid of it so stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't war on duckweed and uh so yeah everybody loves these things here there's a ton of fry although you can't really see anybody out and about um so yeah also i'm gonna be selling some of these l134 leopard frog placos uh i have 30 of them so i don't really need that many so I'm going to be selling about 20 of them. And uh, so comment below and let me know if you are in the greater Toronto area and you want to pick up some L134 leopard frog placos from Jan the Discus Man. These fish were all bred by Jan and uh, I picked them up. So they're in all these tanks. You can see some of them. There's one right there. Um, it's my Altum Angel. I'm getting some more of these in, in the coming months. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't, you need to subscribe. So you get updated when those fish start arriving and start breeding because that's the plan and uh so yeah the other 134s are kind of hiding so i'll try to get them on b-roll for you guys in future videos so stay tuned for that uh these are the pseudohemiodon apitanos there's one right there you can see the eyes right there and there's the other one right there so i have two in here and then i have two more coming uh from my friend so i'm kind of excited about that uh the blue panax l239 uh, so it's a Barry Ancestors and the L201 Hype Ancestors. Um, so I have a lot of different new fish that we are going to look at. So you guys need to subscribe if you haven't. 60% uh, of you are missing out 
on these updates because you have not subscribed so you watch the one video and you like it and comment and you disappear and then you come back a month later you missed out a whole month's worth of videos you know what i mean and you never know with me what you're gonna get every day is a new day every day is a new video so we're gonna be doing these types of updates all the time now because i do still have some time and i'm still you know uh waiting for my industry to begin uh back so until then we will be doing a lot of these so let me know if you like this type of content where i would just be walking around doing like a vlog style video just you know filming all the tanks for you instead of doing more like a programmed type of uh, segmented video where i talk about individual tanks or a specific subject this is just me just walking about showing you what different tanks are this is just literally when the lights had just come on and i just replaced the the filter which you just saw like this thing here from my central air pump which is here and so that's the central air loop running through the whole fish room you know so that's essentially the fish room that's in this part of the facility there's like four tanks outside of here uh in the front area of my house and uh there's about eight or nine tanks that's supposed to go here that are in storage and i still have to pick up two more of these or actually one more because i have one well i want to replace this one here so i want to i want to move this one here to a different position because it's a nice display tank and it's, it's well planted and stuff and uh so i want to put four 10 gallons in there so i have one 10 gallon which is here which is going to get moved down there and i need to pick up two more 10 gallons to go there and uh i also need to pick up a few more 20s and pull out my other tanks from storage so i have the rest of this filled up but i'm not in no rush or anything like that because it's a lot of work to manage all of these right now and uh, i do have uh, empty tanks so i'm not too worried like this tank here is pretty much empty i can uh, this tank i'm going to move the fish out which is empty there's a tank in the middle there which i'm going to start spawning tetras in so subscribe below and stay tuned because i am going to be attempting a cardinal tetra spawn because i have some really nice uh, cardinals in here you see some females are really fat i have six of them and uh, there's two or three fem two females and the rest are males so i'm going to try a spawn with uh, one of the females and one of the males and try to get a large spawn out of those so stay tuned for that i just want to give you guys a little tour uh, a full fish room tour is coming up so uh stay tuned you know as always thank you so much comment below and let me know if this you like this type of videos and tours or if you want to do a more um, organized tour tank by tank tank by tank explaining what's in each tank and all that good jazz and if you haven't checked out the playco tour i highly recommend you check that out because there were 100 playcos in that video as always thank you so much i love you all i'll see you on the next video god bless